Have you ever heard of The Richest Man in Babylon by George S. Clayson? It's a book that has been around for ages, but it's super still really relevant today. This book tells these cool stories set in ancient Babylon that teach us all kinds of valuable lessons about money. Yeah, and one of the most important concepts that the book teaches is always pay yourself first. What does that mean? Well, basically before you pay anyone else, your bills, your employees, whatever, you should make sure you're paying yourself first. That might sound a little bit selfish, but it's really actually a smart thing. Hello, I'm Palmy. And I'm Nancy, and together we make the, the Kitty, Kitty Sisters, Sisters, your financial BFFs, and your apartment investing go-to source. So in this episode, we're going to dive into why paying yourself first is so important, especially you entrepreneurs, business owners. Trust us, neglecting this advice can lead to some serious problems. But don't worry, we'll break it down for you and make sure you come away with some actionable tips to improve your financial game. Please click like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Let's get into it. We know if you're anything like us, you may be wondering what's the concept of paying yourself first really means. Let's take a step back to The Richest Man in Babylon, which is really an amazing book that's been around forever. But the lessons is still super relevant today. One of the biggest takeaways from the book is that if you want to be financially successful, you should always pay yourself first. That's right. What does that mean? Well, it means that you have to prioritize your own financial well-being before you pay the bills or buy anything. You just need to set aside some money for savings or investing. Ideally, you want to aim for at least 10% of your income but anything is better than nothing, right? Now, you might be thinking, but what about all my other expenses? <laughs> Don't worry, you can still pay your bills and buy those groceries. Just make sure that you set aside a portion of it for yourself first. Absolutely, that's brilliant, right? By consistently saving and investing, you will slowly build up a financial cushion that can help protect you from unexpected expenses or even help you retire comfortably. So let's take a cue from the richest man in Babylon and start prioritizing our own financial well-being. You'll feed yourself with thank you. Believe it or not, some entrepreneurs, business owners live paycheck to paycheck, even though their business is making bank. It may sound crazy, but it can happen if they're not paying themselves first. When business owner entrepreneurs don't prioritize setting aside some money for themselves, they basically putting all their eggs into one basket, which is their business. And while their business might be doing well, who knows what could happen in the future? Markets can be unpredictable and things can change in a blink of an eye. So by not paying themselves first, entrepreneurs are setting themselves up to entirely depend on their business income. And that is totally a risky move. Super risky. Nan, if their business income suddenly drops or they have an unexpected expense, they can find themselves in a pretty tight spot. That's why it's so important for entrepreneurs to pay themselves first, even if just a small amount. By building up personal saving, they will have a financial cushion to fall back on if things get rough. And trust us, it's always better to be safe than sorry when it comes to your finances. So picture this, you're an entrepreneur and your venture is your baby. You poured your heart and soul into every single day and it's finally paying off but you haven't put you haven't paid yourself first so all your hard earned cash is tied up in the business then out of nowhere life throws you a curveball maybe you break your leg mm -hmm. ouch and can't work for a while or your roof start leaking and needs to be fixed asap without any personal saving to fall back on you're stuck in a tough spot you might have to rely on high interest debt just to cover the cost of unexpected expenses which could add up quickly and get out of control super fast the stress of this situation can be overwhelming and it can even put your entire business at risk. If you're not careful, one financial setback could be all it takes to bring everything crashing down. That's why it's so important to have a personal financial safety net, even if you're an entrepreneur. By paying yourself first and building your personal savings, you'll have a cushion to fall back on if something unexpected happens. Absolutely. That's a great point, Palm. You'll be able to handle the expense without putting your business or your personal finances in jeopardy. As entrepreneurs, it can be easy to get caught up in your day-to-day -day operations that you forget to plan for the future. But if you're not setting aside money for retirement, you could be in for a rude awakening down the line. Yeah, and without enough personal savings, you might find yourself working well into your golden years just to make ends meet. And let's be real, who wants to spend their retirement years working? Not, not us, us, that's, that's for sure. sure. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> At the end of the day, by not prioritizing your financial well-being, your risk of not being able to retire comfortably or maintain your lifestyle you deserve. That sounds miserable, and that's no way to live. So if you're an entrepreneur, make sure that you're paying yourself first and build up that personal savings. You should also know that if you're relying solely on one venture for your income, you might be putting yourself in a pretty risky situation. Think about it. If your business hits a rough patch or the market takes a downturn, your entire livelihood could be at stake. That's a lot of pressure to put on one single enterprise. But fear not, friends. There's a way to reduce your financial vulnerability and diversify your income streams. And it all starts with paying yourself first. By paying yourself first, you're able to invest in other assets or ventures and build up the personal savings that you can create a safety net for yourself and your family. <laughs> I love that. Not only does that provide a cushion in case your business hits a rough patch, but it also allows you to explore new opportunities and potential revenue streams. Who knows, maybe your side hustle may become <laughs> your main gig someday. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. So we talk about diversification, but did you know that neglecting your personal savings can also impact your ability to secure a loan? It's true. Yeah, when you apply for a loan, lenders take a close look at your credit worthiness to assess whether or not you're a good risk. Yes, <laughs> risk actually can be a good thing sometimes. And guess what? Your personal financial stability play a big role in that assessment. Think about it. If you don't have a healthy savings account, the lender actually may view you as a higher risk for defaulting on the loan. That's because a lack of savings can be seen as a sign of financial irresponsibility or instability. And let's be honest, nobody wants to be seen that way, right? No, absolutely not. So if you want to increase your chances of getting approval for a loan, make sure you prioritize your personal savings. Not only that, it will help you establish financial stability, but it can also improve your credit worthiness and make you a more attractive borrower. Now, before you start thinking about all the cool stuff you could buy with that extra cash, <laughs> let's get one thing straight. Paying yourself first is not about splurging on luxury items or those fancy gadgets. Not at all, Palm. In fact, the idea behind paying yourself first is all about building wealth passively without taking away from your main source of income. It's like a balancing, like the delicate balancing act between focusing on your active income, aka your job or your business, and growing your wealth on the side. Think of it like a sliding scale. The more you prioritize your personal savings and investments, the more you can shift towards building your wealth passively. And the beautiful thing about it is that the more wealth you accumulate, the more financial freedom you have to pursue your passions and your interests. So don't be fooled by the misconception that paying yourself first means sacrificing your current lifestyle for some far off goal, right? It's about finding that balance that works for you and using your resources wisely to build a secure and financial future. Nan, so let's take a break from all the business talk and imagine a tree growing in your backyard. Give me any kind of tree you want, but like any tree, it needs sunlight and water to grow big and strong. Your active income is like the sunlight that provides immediate nourishment, while your passive income is like water that feeds your financial growth over time. Wow, I just love that. Just like a tree, you'll need a lot of sunlight, active income when you're starting out, but as you grow, your roots spreads, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to tap into more water sources passive income to keep your financial health in check. Growing your wealth is a long-term game and it takes patience and discipline to succeed. You need to prioritize your personal savings and your investment over time. You start to see the balance shift from active income to passive income. And before you know it, you would have built a sustainable financial foundation that lets you focus on your dreams and your goals. Some examples of passive income sources include like stocks that pay dividends, rental income from real estate, or even royalties from creative works like music or books. By embracing the timeless wisdom from paying yourself first and staying committed to your financial goals, anyone can achieve financial freedom and enjoy a more secure and prosperous future. Well, guys, that's it from us today. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you found this discussion on the concepts of paying yourself first and it's important for entrepreneurs informative and engaging. Remember guys, prioritizing personal savings and investment is a crucial step towards building a strong financial foundation and achieving long-term wealth accumulation. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out. We love to hear from you. Stay tuned for more episodes and don't forget to subscribe to never miss an update.